Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about some facts about moon phases. So moon is also known as Luna in Greece and moon phases is also known as lunar phases. But what is moon phases actually? Moon phases is the shape of the darkly sunlit portion of the moon as viewed from the earth. So the moon has several phases because it orbits the earth causes sun portion that can be seen by us but some cannot in certain period of time. This is the moon phases of 2015 produced by NASA and one moon of month is the time needed for the moon to turn around the earth and back to the same position and one moon day is actually the time needed for the earth to turn around its axis and it's basically 15 minutes more compared to solar day. So what is the effect of moon phases to the earth? It causes tides in the Earth's ocean. The moon's gravity pulls upwards on the water in the ocean, creating a bunch of water directly beneath the moon. So from this picture, you can see the sun and the moon pulling the water on the Earth. So what is a lunar day? A lunar day happens when the Earth spins once around its own axis and returns to the same point under the moon. It creates a nearly too high and too low tides. Whereas a lunar month is the moon passes through each of its phases and returns back to its original positions. It causes a spring tides and a nip tides. So for the spring tides, the Earth's moon and sun light up to create a gravitational pull from the moon and sun. So it creates a higher high tides and a lower low tides. For the nip tides, the Earth's moon and sun form a 90 degree angle while the moon's gravitational pull and the sun's gravitational pull conflict with each other creates a lower high tides and a higher low tides. It has less change overall. Thank you for watching and see you again.